Good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another motivational video word for the day. All right. The main theme about this one, I guess I could call, is it worth it? Is what you're doing worth it? So you got the cost versus the time you put into something. So I've got basically two examples, maybe maybe three that I could give you of whether something is worth it or not. The main example that I have is, let's say you have a cell phone. This day and age, the phone I have, it cost about $330 to get it repaired. So that was very expensive. So it was broken, had a cracked screen. So once I restored it, now it's worth maybe 800 on trade-in, maybe at least 600. The front of the screen is really perfect. The back is perfect. It's great. It's like getting a new phone, right? So now that I've restored it, I want to keep it well and I don't want to discard it. I don't want to throw it away. Maybe you've had something you've restored, maybe a boat, maybe a car. Can you think of something that you was broke or damaged and you're like, man, I really like this. Maybe it was a painting or something on the wall and you fixed the frame so that it, it will work. You know, something around your house, a chair, or a, a cup, or maybe a relationship. One of your best friends, you offended them, and then you restored that friendship, and now you're like, this friendship's great. I value it. I don't want to break it again. So the premise of this message is restoration and how once something is restored, it's very valuable, and you don't want to break it again. I mean, they have million-dollar paintings around the world that if they get a little poke in them, they'll hire a professional to come in and touch up that exact spot to replicate the oil paint so it'll look good so I want you to now invert this flip it around use these metaphors to think about yourself when have you been broken down maybe on drugs maybe on alcohol maybe not maybe you never were a prodigal son or daughter maybe your relationship to God was broken down in disarray you had no rest in your soul you just knew you were living in sin and life just wasn't right and then you prayed you went to church you sought God you sang some Bible songs you got hugged by a friend you just you felt like you had that gap restored so once it's restored it's valuable you don't want to break it and let's even invert it one more time and think if a phone is valuable car is valuable to restore a house but the restoration of a soul is even more valuable so God when he restores your soul that's more valuable than any material thing in this world he wants your soul restored he wants it healthy at peace in him so if you're not at peace today go to God you know what's the awesome song he restores my soul all right, several, several analogies on restoration. Maybe some of you had COVID, you felt horrible. Your lungs got restored, your energy got restored. So let's close it in summary. It's great to restore a car. It's great to restore a cell phone. It's great to restore a friendship. But basically protect what's restored. Once it's restored, you know, Go out and break it again. You're, you're very happy. I mean, my phone, I go through cell phones a lot. And this one, now that it's restored, I'm guarding it. Like, I'm not going to let this break. And that's you in the hands of God. God has restored you, and he wants to guard you, to watch over you, to keep you safe physically, mentally, spiritually. I hope this motivational, maybe four-minute, five-minute video really motivated you and that you feel good.